Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I am bringing you products that are hot right now and I think will stay hot for a while. So these are new products that I think were launched within the last few weeks at least. And um, also they're kind of my favorites. <laughs> but they're so stinking new. I didn't want to wait. I mean, we're practically at the end of the month, but I was like, I'm going to do this because sometimes my favorites videos feature products that are old. I mean, that have been around a while that I only have just found. So I'm like, I'm going to do a what's hot video because I just feel like striking while the iron's hot. And I look like a net punicello in beach blanket bingo with my gingham top on sort of. You know, um, and anyway, if you've noticed, I've got the products featured behind me, which, you know, I don't know why I'm doing that. I just felt like it was better than putting it on my floor, but I'm reaching behind me is really kind of inconvenient too. So hang on a second. Okay, first and foremost, let's talk about the new Air Uplift skincare tool that you have probably seen. Um, they have been doing a lot of social media on it. I've seen other YouTubers talking about it, and I feel, you guys, so special that they reached out to me and sent me one. I mean, right? Because we're moving on up to the top. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. And for those out there who know that that was the Jeffersons, thank you, 1980s. Okay, actually, was that the 70s? That was the 70s and the 80s. Wow, I could not be more irrelevant. Um, and you guys, I'm going to be very straightforward with you about this. So I'm going to give you all the pros. I don't really think there's any cons except for maybe the price. But let's break it down, okay? So this is the Smart Profile Uplift, which is new from Clarisonic. And it is so cool because, mostly because of this massage head. Uh, this is like a facelift massager tool that is supposed to give you results over 12 weeks. So it's not instant, it's not overnight, but it is definitely a key part of a maintenance program to just continue to help your skin fight gravity, fight aging, and all that stuff, right? So here is the set. Oh, and that is, I, I did not do that right because I think that the, um, yeah, uh, this comes, Come on. Oh. Okay, so this is what it's called and this is what it says, new Smart Lift 2-in-1 Cleansing and Firming Massage. So it comes as a set like this and there are several pieces that you get. Um, you do get a cleanser, <clears throat> a Clarisonic Refreshing Gel Cleanser. So it has this smart device which has this chip inside so it knows which brush head is on. Um, so you can do one for the body. This is sort of a bigger, more firm cleansing brush for the body, a little more, what's the word, um, rugged. <laughs> then this is a regular Clarisonic brush head. I'm not sure if this is the gentle or the, um, I'm not sure what it is, but I used it on my face and it was great. So it did not irritate my skin. It was not too harsh. It was not too rough. And if you can see on here, there's just, there's the power button and there's this turbo button and that's what you use with the body um, brush head. And then there's this um, plus and minus indicator sign and you can change the settings. So for this, um, this head on here is three minutes and it beeps when you need to move quadrants, let's say, or sections. And I have been using this, you can use it twice a day if you want. Um, I've been using it every morning, definitely, um, and sometimes twice a day. And thank you to Clarisonic for sending me this for, they didn't sponsor this video. This, I'm not being paid. There was no incentive. I don't have any like discount code where I'm getting an affiliate, you know, percentage back or anything like that. It was 
try the product and see what you think. And I think what's cool about what I've been seeing on social media is a lot of YouTubers, big and small, are talking about this product because we like it. Um, if there were some, if some people are getting paid for it, fine. I'm not. So they just sent me the product and it is over $300. So here's the, let's, let's, yeah, okay. There. I'm going to some of my Paula's Choice uh, oil. Thank goodness I just ordered some more because I'm getting low. I'm not going to do my face. Clearly I have makeup. But the idea is to do your decollete, your neck, your face. And what I do is I use all my products before sunscreen. And so you want to get the slipperiest products you can. Nothing too quickly absorbing. You're not going to use like some kind of mattifying, you know. Can you hear that? Okay. So what you do is you just go in upward movements and you start from the bottom. So it's good to start down along your decollete, by your neck, throat, and then move up. And so, did you hear that beep? I'm sorry, I was talking. But it just went dee dee. So then you go up some more and you just kind of keep working in sections and then it'll shut off automatically. But the nice thing is all the heads, I believe it uses, I believe you can use older heads on this, but I don't think you can use the new heads on an old system, on an old, um, handle, um, device. So there is more information on the website. You can find all those questions out. I have been a user of Clarisonic for probably the last almost 10 years. Um, I am a firm believer in the brand and the product. The thing about the brush, the cleansing brush is it's not exfoliating. It is deep cleansing and there's a difference. So you're not taking layers of the skin off. You are getting deep down in just to remove everything from the skin, from the pores, just to get all the makeup and dirt and sunscreen and oil out of there. So with the massage feature, the point of it is it's something like 20, 27,000 micro massages. So like if you were to get, you know, like a nice facial massage, but she would do it 27,000 times, <laughs> that's what you're getting with this tool. And the idea is for, you know, stimulation, circulation, but your products are penetrating more deeply. So I say if you are kind of on the fence about certain high end skincare products, Stick with like mid price, you know, go to the ordinary, buy some of those affordable products, maybe just get some Paula's Choice, they're in like the $30 range, and then get a Clarisonic and see what you think. This is available at Sephora. Um, I don't have a discount code, but if you use Ebates, you might get 8% back on some, some days, you know, Ebates has specials. Um, there, it'll be great to have around for the next, you know, VIB Rouge 20% off, um, put it on your mother's day list, your birthday list, whatever. But just let you know that if you've seen the product and you're like, dang, that's expensive. Is it even worth it? I think it is. So my, it has my seal of approval. I'm all for it. I've also shared with you guys other spin brushes, which I still stand by because I think if you want just like something really, really inexpensive, but cleans the skin. Those are great too. So I have no problem with any of those. I'm not trying to be too faced. I have to try this and I've been using it for at least five weeks and I am so happy with the results. I really do feel like my skin just feels plumper and happier and just like, ah, oh, you know. Now, does it get rid of a double chin? Does it get rid of a saggy jowl? Probably, yes, like it does claim it can do that. 
for me, I mean, I need to lose like 20 pounds. I, <laughs> I've gained weight over the last five years that this, that's what's contributing to, you know, saggy jowls and double chin. I mean, so does time and aging, but let's be real here. You know, there's only so much a tool can do. And so I'm hoping that with my diet and exercise routine these next few months and this tool, I am just gonna have like the most cut jaw you can imagine. Okay, so that was a whole lot of talk on the Clarisonic. And if you have any questions, leave me comments down below and I will try to answer them for you, but I wanted to share it with you. I'll leave the link to the Clarisonic website. There were no coupon codes they could give me because it's new and they're like, we're just launching, sorry, but that's okay. Um, and it's on Sephora, like I said. Okay, speaking of Sephora, I picked up the Marc Jacobs. <laughs> these dew drops coconut gel highlighter this is what i'm wearing under my foundation all over my face if i look extra glowy today it's because i am so it comes like this and i saw it and at first i thought what the heck do i need that for and then i'm like you know what i'm getting it it was definitely a spur of the moment product but all it is getting rave reviews on sephora it is like people are freaking out over this and i think because it has the coconut infused gel in it, so it is hydrating. What I like about it is that, for me, I'm a highlighter addict, so I'm kind of fighting. I want, I want smooth and velvety and poreless, but I also want highlighted and glowy and all that stuff, and it's kind of hard to achieve that, you know, because how do you be matte and poreless, and then you want to put highlighter on top of that, and you're trying so hard to just be everything and it can be a little much. But what I have found, if you like a glowy look, this is fantastic. So a little goes a long way, tiny little drop. It is super, it's, it's actually kind of opaque. Here, I'm gonna use a little more. And I have been putting it on with my Wayne Goss number 13 brush. I, the first time I used this, you guys, I put two pumps on the back of my hand and I put it on like foundation. I thought it was a primer. I thought I'm just gonna be like, yeah. And I looked like the Tin Man. And I'm like, okay. So I just put my foundation on top of that and I had the best face day, but it also felt a little tight because I think the mica and the things that are in a product like this, even if it is hydrating, there's something that's kind of sitting on the skin that's like, you know what I mean? So anyhow, I don't necessarily re recommend doing that, but today I am wearing it all over my face, but a light layer, I just sort of brushed it on really lightly. I'm wearing my Makeup Atelier foundation over it, and then I took another little stipple brush and I put some on the back of my hand and I did my cheekbones. So this is actually this right here. This is not powder highlighter. And you guys know how much I cannot stand liquid highlighter, especially sticks. Um, and so to just take some on the back of your hand, like I said, with like a stipple brush um, and just kind of like that, it worked, it worked. So you're gonna ask me, Rebecca, is that like the Becca backlight primer? And I'm gonna say, kinda, sorta, but not quite. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am just like jacked up in this video. I'm like on amphetamines or something. I'm not, but I seem to be behaving that way. Okay, so the Becca backlight primer has a little bit more of an opalesce. It's funny because on the back of my hand before I did this video, this was looking opaque and this is looking sheer. And right now for you guys, this is looking more opaque and this is looking more sheer. But anyway, I'm not sure how well you can see the difference. This is more gold and this is more sort of champagne peach. This is more kind of opal, kind of just less, more of a sheen, whereas this is actually like a high, high shine finish. Um, this stays dewy and this dries down. The Marc Jacobs dries down and the Becca stays dewy. So both great, just a little bit of a preference. Um, probably what it's most similar to is the Cover FX drops. 
That's what I think it's most similar to, but I love it. The next thing I love, you guys, um, and I was sent, um, thank you, Wonder 2 products. These are new the from the makers of um, Wonder Brow. Wonder 2 is all about amazing results in two minutes. And I'm wearing my Wonder Brow today. And this perfect selfie powder is kind of your um, transparent after glow, like you can't, it, I mean, it does look a little bit white, but it's basically, there's a little kabuki or you can use your own kabuki and you just kind of powder it all over your face as the last step after everything else. And it finishes your skin to look like a filtered selfie. I actually use this with a very little brush, my Real Techniques brush, and I set my concealer uh, with it because I'm not baking, I'm just lightly setting. So it's a great HD, no flashback, light, light setting powder. They've also come up with new lip products. So you guys, I have a lip plumper video I can uh, post below where I reviewed the Wonder Kiss um, two minute lip plumper, which I am wearing right now. Um, and they came up with a Wonder Kiss to go because the original lip plumper is a system where you add the products together and this one is already combined. So it's basically like a clear gloss and it plumps the lips without a stinging or, oh my God, painful sensation. This is a, there it is, a Wonder Kiss Essential Scrub. And I've used scrubs, I have some scrubs I love, um, that you could take out of a little pot and put on. But this is very handy because you just apply it on dry lips, rub your lips together, and then just wipe it off with a tissue. It doesn't leave any grit. It doesn't taste. It doesn't smell. It's super um, gentle. So, and it's a great way to prep your lips before you plump your lips. <laughs> That's just fun to say. I'm also wearing this new NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream which I just found at Ulta and I think I love it. I'm wearing the color Retro Harmony and I'm, all, I'm wearing it over a Tom Ford lipstick. It's kind of a lip topper and it's kind of, um, a, it's just basically like a creamy metallic lip. It doesn't dry like a liquid lip, um, but if you really want just that metal shine, wearing this over is so pretty. It's a little bit, um, it's very opaque. It's kind of, kind of glossy on the lips, but it also is long wearing. And I'm just kind of liking it. Okay, the Tarte Believe in Yourself, Make Believe in Yourself palette. They've got this whole like unicorn fantasy theme for spring. And this just launched, it's both at Sephora on the Tarte website and at Ulta. And I bought it because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give Tarte a fair shake and try a palette of theirs because I haven't tried any palettes since holiday and I was disappointed with the holiday palettes. So here it is. It's beautiful. It's all metallic shades. It's like all, um, did I hold that up for you or was it blinding you? It is all frosts and metals with one matte shade. This center shade right here is to be used on your eyes or your cheeks. And it can be very subtle and it looks really pretty as a highlighter. It's not chunky, it's not glittery. And also it looks really pretty on the inner corner. Now, the cool thing about these shadows is I will say, so when you first open the palette, the shadows will feel a little bit hard. It's almost like there's a bit of a, a top coat or just something when they ma manufacture it. But then as soon as you start to go in, do you see what I see? It's so pretty and so shiny and they're so beautiful. Also, the shade that's the matte is called Myth. It's right here, 
and this is such a good transition shade. I am wearing this all over my lid. I have noticed that when you put this on with a brush, the color gets more intense. So I'm gonna use Crystal, and I'm putting it on with my Sigma brush. There really isn't that much fallout, and I, oh, it's got a great mirror too. And I am just going to press this on and the more you kind of just press and lay down the shadow it is so vivid you don't need any fix plus it's just really pretty it blends it stays put they're so pretty and it smells like cupcakes so I'm a fan alrighty you guys those are all the hot new products that I'm digging right now. I will list them all below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and help me out in that YouTube algorithm. And definitely subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.